Yo, what's up guys? Joker bringing you another video for Nightingale. So not that long ago, we received the Realms Rebuilt update and I've been playing it. At this point, I have about 48 hours in the game altogether. So just in the Realms Rebuilt, I essentially doubled my playtime and that definitely should go ahead and kind of say how good this update actually has been. I've been incredibly impressed with the things that they changed. Um, there's been a large amount of updates. They went ahead and they made a brand new handcrafted campaign to kind of streamline the progression a lot better. Um, previously, it was more open world and kind of do whatever you want. And it wasn't that great, honestly. Um, prior, I would give it a solid like six, five and a half out of 10. But since the Realms Rebuild update has came out, there is still stuff that needs to be fixed, but the game is still in early access. It's not even a full release. Uh, it's just significantly better, right? So I I'm going to go ahead and say that at the start of the video that um, this is not a perfect fix, but it's also not a band-aid. They did go ahead and they reworked and fixed a bunch of the systems and problems that I had with a uh, with Nightingale, right? They went ahead, they gave us a progression, they gave us a better skill tree for learning like the crafting. They gave us new weapons and spells, some more variety in combat. They seemed to have reworked the enemy AI. I didn't see anything directly in the notes that said this, but the enemies actually, they do feel threatening right now, right? Well, at least the vast majority of them, as long as they don't get bugged. Once again, there is a decent amount of bugs uh, still, but it's still an early access game. So you kind of have to take those with a grain of salt, right? Um, but the core concept, uh, I'm sorry, the core combat does feel significantly better, right? Uh, previously, the bound would literally just run up to you try to attack and then literally do nothing. Like if you dodged or if you staggered them, they would literally just stand there. Now they feel a lot more snappy, right? They have a lot more uh, versatility uh, to them. They have a lot more variety. There's a larger amount of enemies as well. They have like rams and chargers uh, and sword guys that will literally charge up attacks and rush you to kind of keep on your feet, as well as they'll spawn kind of suicide bomber minions. They'll spawn like voodoo dummies where you have to keep, uh, kill the bound spawner before you can do any damage to it, right? They'll have... Um, What's another type of enemy that they introduced? They introduced snipers, which are the long range enemy. They have a super powerful charge up attack that takes significantly longer for um, the blast to actually go off. And it does a lot more damage. They went ahead and they added a lot more bosses and dungeons into the game. So just a larger amount of content overall. Really good there. The boss fights, once again, since the combat does feel better, um, the, the bosses themselves feel better as well as every boss that I found, uh, uh, that I've fought so far has had a interesting and unique gimmick or mechanics, right? It's not like previously, like I was saying, where you kind of just staggered everything or you like barely had to move where the combat wasn't that fluid and it felt really janky. Uh, now all of the bosses that I've encountered have some kind of gimmick or mechanic that you have to work around, right? Like the first boss you encounter is some kind of weasel rat dude, but he also does illusions. And then there's a bear boss, right? Where you have to do a mechanic with cutting down trees, um, because he heals off the trees. And then you have like a giant dung beetle. Um, reason why I'm only describing these and not showing the footage and just have generic b-roll in the background is because uh i killed these off stream and i wasn't recording so uh 
I made like the mer- the worst mistake a content creator uh, could do of not recording it. And I can't figure out how to get back into the boss fights. The drops they give make you feel like they're replayable. Uh, I just personally haven't been able to figure out how to get back into them. But I believe you can repeat all of the content just going to the previous realms, which now is significantly easier. There's a teleport on your map that brings you to the crossways, which is going to bring you to any of the realms, right? And then from there, I guess it would just be teleporting to the boss's lair and killing them again. Um, Once again, I haven't tested that, so I can't directly speak on that. I just wanted this to be more of a short or video uh, going over the praise for the Nightingale devs where they went ahead and they did go at, they did take a large amount of the feedback and improve the game quite drastically like if i go to um if i go ahead and go to their steam page where they recently had mixed reviews right uh, the vast majority of the reviews were showing like Honestly, like I said, a a 60%, right? Uh, It shows me right now that the uh, overall review is mixed with 12,313 reviews. uh, And and it's, um, yeah, 65% of the reviews are positive, giving it a mixed review. So it is all right. But then recently, within the last 30 days, 73% of the reviews have been positive, going ahead and showing that inflection has been listening to the player feedback that we have been giving and improving the game. Uh, Right now, for the next two days after this video goes up, there is a 40% off sale on Nightingale as well. So you can pick it up for 18 bucks. That's the main reason why I wanted to go ahead and put out the video and it's not like that scripted I do apologize but um yeah go check out Nightingale it's finally in a state that I feel like it's worth recommending because of the fact that like I said I literally doubled my play time previously I played eight hours and I felt like it was a drag but now uh in this recent update I put in pretty much like 20 hours and I'm still enjoying it. If there wasn't more uh, other games that I have to be playing it, I'd probably still play it a little while. I'm currently on realm level 60. So I'm pretty sure that there's four more realms that I can go up as well, knowing that there is content, right? To continue to be done. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Short review. Uh, The game is good now. So that's dope. You get a look forward to it only getting better in the future because I believe this is like 0.3 or something like that uh da, 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 0.5 oh no i guess it's 0.5 so we're about halfway to launch if this is to believed but to be believed but yeah that's pretty much it don't forget to like comment and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content and until next time take care